Hi friends, David here from Above AVL and Learn Stage Lighting. And in this video, we're gonna talk all about getting started with your first stage build in the Capture 3D Visualizer. Let's dive in. Okay, so Capture is a 3D visualizer that uh, we use a lot here on all of our channels to simulate stages in 3D and pre-program even for events. It can be really awesome and we've got some videos on why that is and honestly what a great choice it is simply because they make the upgrade cost year to year really reasonable. So you, you get in for what you want at the start, however many universes you need, but year to year the cost is really low, which is huge and super helpful. And so what I wanna do here is just talk about building your first stage. And so when you first launch Capture, this is what you see, it's what it's been for years. And you can click over here on new project. Okay, just double click that. And now you've got an untitled project. Of course, like any software, anything you're doing, let's go ahead and save first. So file, save, or control S, or Apple S, of course, if you're on the fruit. And then go find a place to stick it. Um, so I know I've got it somewhere. Where exactly? Who knows? Um, no, I'm kidding. Uh, we've got it here. YouTube new stage, I'll call this project and we'll save it. Now it's time to get building. This is the fun part. Okay, so there's a couple ways to start building your stage. Usually what I do is I start by building a actual physical room. Okay, now there are ways to import rooms and whatnot and, and we're not gonna get into that now, but for the most basic room, what I typically do is just go to the library, go here to objects, forms, and box. Okay, so this gives us a box that we can drag in and then we go over to design and we go to selected items. This is gonna show us the properties of this box. So I'm basically going to turn this into a really big flat sheet to be a floor, to be a wall, to be a ceiling, etc. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're just gonna go, you know, 100 feet wide. Um, the units will be in the default units that your computer is set to or that you've set the capture program to. That being said, say for example, I wanted to take the height and make it for some reason a half meter. So I'm in feet, but I could always type 0.5 M and oops, 0.5 M and it will give me a half meter and convert it over to feet. Then we'll go ahead to 100 feet in depth. And so now in the top view, you see we have a big flat sheet in the side. You see we have something that looks kind of like a wall. Um, granted, you know, two feet deep is a little odd, but I'll often just make it, you know, an inch deep and it'll just be dandy. Okay, so that works for a floor and I've got it oriented at the zero point, which is generally a good place to put your floor. Um, zero on the, the front side, up and down, zero left and right, um, nice and centered in the plane. Now we're just gonna go ahead and make a copy. So this button right here is your quick copy tool, and I'm gonna put it in the exact same place. There's a lot of snapping that Capture can do. If you don't want it to snap, then that's okay. There are hotkeys to be able to turn that off. But for now, we'll keep it on. And then I'm just gonna turn it. So I'm gonna hold Shift. You can see there, it tells me the hotkey in the upper right-hand corner, or the upper left-hand corner of the active window. Oops, that's okay. Go ahead and get it at minus 90 exactly. And of course, because I turned off snapping it on, it got in a weird spot, but I could just type it in and we're good to go. Nice and precise. So now I'm gonna go ahead, move this from the top view, copy it, turn it again, copy it. And now we've got a three-sided space, okay? So what do we build next? Well, on the most basic stage, we, we really wanna just go ahead and add in some basic blocks. So again, in the library, there are stages. There's scaffolds, you know, there's pre-rigs, um, all kinds of good stuff, show equipment, some, some really helpful stuff, honestly, that wasn't there when I first joined this. Um, there are even some full-on pre-built stages, but in this case, I'm just gonna pop in a stage deck. By default, if we go to design and selected items, 
we will see that it is definitely not an American stage deck. Okay. It's, it's, uh, you know, two meters by one meter, but again, you can resize anything here. And so I'm just going to make it eight by four, right? Four inch thick. And we'll make it a 36 inch stage. Okay. Now you can see we've got a stage piece right here and we can go ahead and build a stage. All right, this is where we start to have some fun. So let's just orient it here. And then I'm gonna go ahead to this cog and do a duplicate, Control D or Apple D probably on a Mac. You set the number of duplicates you want. So in this case, if I type in seven, I'm gonna get eight things total. Then we have our offset X, Y, and Z. This is why it's important to know the size of your item, okay? Because now, I can just go sideways or should be Z. Um, I admit I'm not the most uh, technical person sometimes. Um, and then we can hit and we set the exact size of the stage deck, duplicate it up and we get duplicates. Now we did it wrong. So we can just control Z undo. Try again. It's going to keep our info from the last time, which is super helpful. And this time we'll do X, which should be the right axis. Now we've got our stage decks, highlight them all. This time, let's just do three. This time we're doing it on the Z axis at four feet. If you don't enter a unit, it's just gonna use the default unit, which in this case is feet. Boom. Now we've got a nice stage. If I highlight them all, here on selected items, I can go ahead then actually not on selected items and just move it until it locks to the center really nicely. Um, you can see here, I can turn on control, no snapping. And then get it pretty precise right there. Awesome. There's a couple other things you'll see. One is you'll see the haze cloud. So the haze cloud is always there and it always automatically sizes to the size of your stage. You can modify it. Um, you can select it as well. Go to your selected items. You can adjust the amount of haze, the way that it works. Get rid of it completely if you need to. Okay. Then we have our camera. The cameras move around a lot because they are the camera for each view. As you move around in a view, you will see those cameras move. They can be really helpful in your visualization later. Okay, let's go ahead and add some truss to our basic stage. So we'll just go ahead back to the library and there's a whole section on truss. There's tons of brands in here. Um, I'm just gonna go with Global Trust because it's easy and it's here in the US a lot. We'll just go to their, their regular 12 inch truss. I'm just gonna drag one in on my front view, right? It's a 10 foot stick of truss. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I can just literally just hit the duplicate here and you can see how they're gonna to snap together and, and truss pieces will find other truss pieces, they'll automatically snap like so. Super helpful. Go ahead, drag it in. Look at our top view, go, okay, where do we want this to be? Maybe it's a front truss, good to go. Perfect. Now that you've kind of built the, the very first bits of a stage, let's just look at it for a second before we hop into our next video. So on any of these views, you can go ahead and toggle yourself into live at control R or through this menu. Now we're actually seeing our stage, okay? By default, of course, this is a lighting visualizer, so everything's dark. But you can go to your views here, or you can go, and I believe there is a option to grab the uh, information, but I don't see it right now, so that's okay. Um, but we can go here, it may show up when you patch fixtures in the beta view, and right here we have ambient lighting, AKA the sun. You can put that wherever you want. You can see the camera's set to auto expose at the moment, and so everything comes up automatically. Now, something you might notice is everything's gray, right? It's kind of hard to tell what is what because everything's so gray. So let's just go and build a quick material. If we go down to the materials tab, you can go add, and you can either add or import materials. In this case, we're just gonna add, and we're just gonna give it a color that's pretty dark. I'm just doing this fast. 
And then I'm going to select my planes. And I just drag this material in. You can see they highlight purple when they're the target object. Boom. And now we've got a much darker room and we're able to work a lot better. Awesome. That concludes the end of this video. If you're enjoying this, um, you can follow along on the Capture demo and you can download that from capture.se. And then when you're ready to purchase, Learn Stage Lighting Gear is, um, or actually above AVL, our new name, as we've transitioned to, is the only online retailer that I know of um, that actually stocks, the only third-party retailer that actually stocks capture licenses. So most of our capture licenses, if not all, go out right away when you order them. So if you're looking to buy capture, Come get it from us. We would love to help you. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.